Well, okay, folks, here I am. It's me in my ratty hat. And I'm parked outside of the Ohio Valley Antique Mall, just outside of, I think I'm outside of Cincinnati. This place is supposed to be huge, and I want to thank Jeffrey Reed for telling me about it, or I would not have known, because I did not do any homework. I wasn't planning on stopping in Cincinnati, but here I am. Let's go see what we can find. That is a really pretty print. Probably circa 1940, something like that. I've never seen it before. Uh, it's called Sunrise Over the Ocean, and it's very reasonably priced at $49.99. Uh, D. Ogden is the artist, we can see. That's nice, the colors are really pretty in that. Uh, I don't have any wall space at home. <laughs> no, well, not much. Uh, oh boy, this is a famous print. And I forget, somebody told, well, maybe it'll say, uh, picture horses, black and white, no. That's an unusual little, uh, what I would call a liar table, you know, ob for obvious reasons. Somewhat weird looking, but you know, this this kind of furniture that was made in the 1920s, you often found odd shapes like this, uh, a liar base, and it's either a sewing, it is a sewing stand. I thought it'd either be a sewing stand or a humidor sewing stand, 129 bucks. So it's kind of a 1920s twist on the Martha Washington sewing stand, which everybody had to have in the 1920s. Oh, look, it's filled with uh, it's all the sewing accoutrements. Let's look inside. Look at the sewing box. It's like plastic or lucite, and it's got two kittens playing with, a, uh, with yarn. That's kind of neat that that's on the inside. Original finish, that's a nice one. Very, very, very nice. And a big old uh, East Lake bed. Late Victorian. And this is forty dollars on this art glass bowl. Oh, there's the there's the ubiquitous church plate. <laughs> I think every church in America did those for you know fundraisers and whatnot. Okay, let's see, where am I going? Well, just as I had expected, I was hoping I'd find some Louis glass because we're not too terribly far away from where this stuff was made. Now, remember, I sold one of these pictures in a live sale quite a while ago, but here it is with all of its tumblers. And it is marked Louis glass, Harpo pattern, ringed cobalt pitcher, uh, blah, 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 $95 with the tumblers mm -hmm. produced in the 1930s I think Louis was that the dude's first name I think it was his first name and I forget from which country he came <laughs> Sorry, there I am in mid-sentence. I, I interrupt myself. Uh, I think made in, wait a minute. Yes, in the Weston area of uh, West Virginia. Now this is $149. If I could, you know, wave a magic wand and have that expand, that could be the stove for the 1925 bungalow. I still don't have a stove. All right, let me back out of here without breaking anything. I think whoever 
runs this booth, we must be related because I like everything in this booth. Oh my word, there's just so many. This, this I'm not gonna ever be able to get, look how big the base is on this. Let's see what it has, what it, wait a minute, let me get in there, let me get focused. Hocus Pocus. It says black amethyst pedestal bowl, two pieces, $84.99. So there's the bowl and the pedestal. And they've got it black on black. Wow, okay, here's some Phoenix glass. Uh, they, they, Phoenix glass, that you see these geese, you see a lot of fish. Circa 1940, Phoenix blue, blue geese, flying geese. I love that. And the dresser lamps. The Phoenix vase is 129, and the two lamps are $99 for the pair, I think. And there's some stretch glass. And, mm, well, being here in Ohio, you're, you're gonna just, you can't, you can't walk in any direction without tripping over for some fantastic glass. I shouldn't say that, I don't really wanna trip. Anyway, I put something down, I think I'm gonna purchase it. And it's this piece right here. I'm, I'm thinking about it. Look at this fierce Art Deco mixer. I've never seen that before. General Mills electric mixer works sold as found $35 man I'd love to plug that in that's a great price I mean the bowl itself is worth 10 15 bucks look at that it looks like the front of a car I wish I could plug that in and let it roll I love it haha <laughs> one of my first jobs I think I was about 16 years old. I worked in this little sort of country store <laughs> selling uh, all, everything. And we even had a gas pump. And um, yes, I actually used one of these things to cut lunch meat and cheese. Mm -hmm. I haven't thought about that in forever. That would have been way back when I was in high school, back in the early 80s. In the 83, 84, something like that. Mm-hmm. And we had to count out change by hand. I mean, you know, using your mind. <laughs> what am I trying to say? The cash register didn't tell you if the lady bought $3.92 worth of chipped corned beef. Uh, and then she gave you a $50 bill. You had to know how to count that out. Look at the sink. $45, that's a sink. Okay. This place is absolutely, I, I don't think I've ever been in an antique store as big as this. It just goes on and on and on. I think there are, what, 500 dealers in here? Uh, I'm gonna be in here all day. Well, guten morgen, everyone. Uh, I've heard of a rainy night in Georgia, but this is a rainy morning in Kentucky. I'm actually just outside of Lexington and I'm getting ready to go into a Goodwill. This is the first Goodwill store I've stepped into since I left New Jersey. Yeah, I just said New Jersey. Okay, let's go see what we can find or what we can't find. Well, let's be optimistic. Let's go see what we can find. All right, here I am. I'm gonna start down here on the housewares and the first thing that I spy is a really old frame. Look at that right there with the artificial graining. Let's dig that out. Ooh, this is gonna be something good. Let's hope it's not terribly priced. It is an old mirror, mirror. Yeah, look at that. There's old print in the top. And a little bit of damage in the upper right hand corner. This looks very Edwardian. 
and the old man is listening to this woman play the violin next to a potted palm. All right, let's guess how much it is before we turn it over. I like the silvering on the mirror. I bet it's $12.99. It's $14.99. Uh, okay. Well, that's close. Uh, is that something that I would keep or ship? Oh, put it in your cart. Stop wasting time. You sat out there in the parking lot and said you weren't going to find anything. And you just found something good in the first five minutes. Okay. You can always put it back. But it is nice. There's a piece of... Oh, wait a minute. What is this? That might be... That says $14.99 as well. Okay. This is the back to this. That fell out of that, I think. So there was another print in there as well. I think that I think that was also so that you could have two different prints. Let's just leave that there for the moment. We'll see what they say up front. That's uh, depression glass. That thing. Am I filming? Don't tell me I didn't hit. Yes, I am. All right, there's a big silk butterfly. That's cute. What do I do with it? Dollar ninety nine. Put a baby doll in it or something. Uh, here's an old plate with a crack in it. Transfer wear. $2.99. And is it English? It sure is. Uh, let's see now. All right, this is probably, well, it's got a big chip in it. Let's look at it anyway. It's probably going to have characters on it I can't understand, and it does. Something, 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 $8, and it's got a big whopping chip in it. That still could be like a million dollar bowl, even with the chip. Could be. Well, I am in Lexington, the horse capital, so, oh, get in focus. I do expect to see horse items. I'm not sure what that thing is, but it's $4.99. Okay, going down the line here, looking at the old glassware, hoping I can find something. And we've got our typical cut glass, pressed glass, 1960s, 50s, and what that is. Look at this thing. That's kind of cute. $3.99, $2.99. Mm. I've got to, I've got to, uh, you know, like I just. Mm, I don't see anything here. Mugs, used plastic coffee cups. What is that? Mulan. Isn't that some Walt Disney thing? I think so. Ooh, here's a covered butter. It's missing a lot of its gilding. That's okay. 6.99. That's actually not that bad. Uh, ooh. I'll show you this when we get out in the car. Old Christmas, old, ooh. I can't steer my car. Why do I always get the bad wheel? Okay. Ooh, plastic. Fantastic plastic. Or not so fantastic. Poor old kitchen appliances. Pots and pans. Well, as you know, in this business, you're always making decisions about what you purchase and what you don't. I have a lot of willpower. That mirror was wonderful. I liked the old artificially grained frame and the print was really nice as well. But I, saw, I decided to leave it. It's not something that I want to ship. And honestly, in my basement now, I've got probably 30 old framed pieces somewhat similar to that. <clears throat> and I really just didn't need it. Besides, I've only just arrived and I don't want to break it wide open too soon. I did, however, find one item in the store and it's this little old nativity set. Let me get the wire off of it so you can see. This is made in Japan after the war, probably sometime between 1950 
and the very early 60s. It has a foil sticker on the bottom, which is very typical of the types of stickers that you saw at that time. And it says, let me turn it the right way. It says, it says something where Japan. Okay, so it was $5 and I like it. It's small. This is easy to ship. It has uh, the light bulb in the top. I like the colors on it. It had, we have a little bit of a mid-century <coughs> vibe in the architecture, I think, of this manger. And how did that lamb get up there? That's kind of funny to me. But we've got the whole group there, and I've got to fix uh, Joseph's crook. It's a little... I mean, it kind of almost looks like he's going fishing there instead of holding a shepherd's crook, but we'll fix that. It's all made of wood, and the figures are composition with the original colors. That'll be nice at Christmas time. It's small, just the right size for uh, a little apartment or something like that. Okay, it is warm and raining. I'm going to turn on the car and the air conditioning and then go meet a friend of mine for lunch. And then, after I knock around Lexington a little bit, and yes, I will be riding a horse, then it's off to Louisville. So, thanks for joining me. Well, hello, Antique Shop Kitty. How are you? I think you're old. <clears throat> I think you're an old kitty. I can feel your bones.